All right, 4.3 asymptotes. So in this question, in this section, we're going to look at asymptotes. An asymptote is a line that a curve approaches more and more closely, but never touches. Now, again, as you know, there are exceptions to this rule. Some exceptions, and most of these exceptions, apply to the horizontal asymptote. Vertical asymptote never gets crossed. Now, here's the key example of where you'll see a horizontal asymptote being crossed by our diagram. Looking over here, we can see, just careful, we're looking over here. In this one, it would continue on closer and closer to this horizontal asymptote. Over here, being increasingly closer to this asymptote. Over here, increasingly closer to this asymptote. And then finally, oh, look, it looks almost like a weird cubic thing going on. And it crosses the horizontal asymptote. And this particular graph gets closer and closer to the y-axis, uh, sorry, asymptote, vertical asymptote. And again on the other side, closer and closer to the vertical asymptote. And finally going off forever and ever. So, let's look at some important information. Vertical asymptotes are used to find vertical, sorry, to find a vertical asymptote, you must factor the numerator and the denominator, simplify if possible, cancel factors, which are known as holes, set the denominator equal to zero, and solve for any x, sorry, solve for any values. Okay, so let's go over. Vertical asymptote, to find a vertical asymptote, you must factor the numerator and the denominator, simplify Cancel any factors, which are known as a whole. Set the denominator equal to zero and solve for any values. V vertical asymptote. Take the limits from both sides of the values found in three. So this is very important to find the vertical asymptote. And horizontal and oblique or oblique asymptotes are basically it's a line y equals l is a horizontal asymptote if the curve y equals f at x of the curve f at x if either the limit as x approaches infinity of f at x equals l or the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f at x equals l. So this here is what we're looking for or both. No. Unlike the vertical asymptote, curves can cross the horizontal asymptote. I'm restating this because it's an important understanding. All right, example number one. Given f at x equals some function, determine the asymptotes. Remember what we have to do. We will have to find the vertical asymptotes, which are where the denominator is equal to zero. You prove it by taking the limit as x approaches, uh, sorry folks, x approaches negative two on the left side, left meaning the negative of negative two, and you take the limit as x approaches negative two on the right hand side, and you determine that both the left hand side and the right hand side are actually approaching in either negative infinity or positive infinity. The limit as x approaches 3 from the negative and 3 from the positive, we're looking for answers to these questions. What we're trying to do is determine the limits to know that there is actually a function here. f at x approaches negative infinity and limit as f at x approaches positive infinity. That all varies on the number you're putting in here, your test point. We test the point to determine is it greater or less than. All right, next. Take the limit as x approaches of infinity of the function that we had originally 
Now what we're doing here is testing for the horizontal asymptote. Most students have a hard time figuring out the asymptote. So we're going to try this again. So you had your original function, but what we're doing is setting the limit as x approaches infinity of this function. We plug it in and we find out. Now before we plug it in, how do we use this to our advantage? What we do is we're essentially multiplying by 1. What we're doing though is dividing both the top and bottom by the highest degree. In this you will see that the degree is x is 2. x squared is the highest degree. So we're dividing both the numerator and the denominator by x squared. x over x squared, x squared over x squared, x over x squared minus 6 over x squared and we get a value of 0. This here folks is the horizontal asymptote. So y equals 0 is your horizontal asymptote. You take the limit from the left side and you find out that the uh, once we take this limit, we'll find out that our horizontal asymptote is still y equals 0. We plug it in to the equation, to the notes. We find out the vertical asymptotes are x equals negative 2 and y equals 3. And the, shoot up, and the horizontal asymptote is at y equals 0. All right, next one. Example number 2. Given f at x equals x plus 2 over x squared minus x minus 6, determine any holes or asymptotes. So what you're to do is determine the hole. From that, you plug in the hole to find the y value. And we continue on and find we found the factors turns out one of them cancelled so that means we have a hole at x equals negative 2 which we have we need to find the vertical asymptote at x equals 3 horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 using the limit function for the vertical asymptote we find out that the answer is true so that we have a What we have here, the limits are equal to 0, and since the limits have a value, we cannot determine this is undeterminable. All right, example number 3, you're asked to evaluate the following limit. What you do, divide the numerator and denominator by the highest degree, which in this case is x squared. We do that, and we find out for this one, we have a very small number over a very large number, so it approaches 0. Again, a very, very small number divided by a very large number, we get a 0 answer. We don't worry about the sign, we just worry about the 0 answer. 0 over 0, 0 over 0. Well, look at this. These two reduce down to 4 on top, 6 on the bottom. 4 minus nothing is 4 and 6 plus nothing plus nothing is still going to be 6. So the limit as x approaches infinity of the function is 4 over 6, which reduced is going to be 2 over 3. All right, given example number 4, determine any holes or asymptotes. To do that, We do the following, take the limit as x approaches 0 from the left, from the right, and it turns out to be a value. We take the horizontal asymptote, and we find out that the horizontal asymptote does not exist. Now, 
uh, sorry, the horizontal asymptote does exist, or does not exist, because 1 divided by 0 is going to be undefinable. Undefinable means that the value is 0. Now, oblique asymptote is going to be where you take long division and you determine that the answer is x plus 1. So we have a function and we have our horizontal as sorry, oblique asymptote right here folks and we have our two horizontal asymptotes they were here somewhere two horizontal asymptotes and sorry folks, let's try that again horizontal asymptote does not exist vertical asymptote Okay, it's approaching positive and negative infinity at x equals 0, and oblique asymptote at y equals x plus 1. Right, folks, that's the end of this video. Let's go on to the next video.